Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to give you seven quick easy tips to take better phone pics. That kind of rhymes. <laughs> iPhone photography is huge right now because everyone owns a phone and as the phones continue to get better and better and the cameras get better and better it's just going to continue to grow. So tip one this is a really easy tip but a tip that a lot of people forget clean your lens. We have this mobile phone in our hands in our pockets all day long so we're constantly touching the lenses and they're just always getting dirty. So clean your lens it actually makes a really big difference sometimes. So don't worry too much if you don't have one of these cloths. These cloths are dirt cheap and obviously if, they, if you've got glasses or sunglasses they, they come, come with those. But yeah, basically just use your t-shirt, just use anything just to get it clean. So tip two. Tip two is always try and shoot raw. Most new phones nowadays have a section where you can just tap and shoot raw. But if you've got an older phone, then you can download like maybe Lightroom. Basically there's an option in there for you to shoot raw. Shooting raw just gives you more control in post-production over the edit and things like that. Most people do shoot raw who um, take photography seriously. How good is that? So tip three is to frame your shot. Now most people walk along, they see a nice photo opportunity and they literally just go bam. Now there's nothing wrong with taking a photo at chest height, but obviously it's exactly how we see it. So if you want to get a little bit creative and you want to take a photo that's slightly different from what you see with your, with your eyes, then frame your shot. Frame your shot with anything from flowers to a wall to trees to people. Um, yeah, just get a little bit creative. Tip four is to use the wide angle lens. My tip here is to get down low and even turn the phone upside down to get as low as possible. This gives you a really cool, unique angle and kind of gives you that high fashion-y look if you're shooting with people or models. Tip five is to use portrait mode. Portrait mode gives you like the depth of field, the blurred background that makes your shots look professional. And with the newer cameras now as well, portrait mode is actually really good. It's hard to sometimes distinguish between a camera and a phone. Like with professional cameras, you can actually now on the newer phones change the f-stop so you can change the blur. So you can go down to I think 1.6 on the newer phones or 1.4 maybe. And so that's super blurred and then you can go all the way up to f-16. Portrait mode is also really fun to obviously take portraits of people, but you can also use it to just isolate like single flowers or things like that. So right, I'm going to stand up. Oh. So tip six is a really fun tip. I actually learned this the other day when I was watching videos, doing a bit of research and figuring out what I wanted to actually include in this video. And I learned this and I'd never even thought of doing this, but it's really cool. So basically you use the pano and you start at one side and you pan all the way to the other side and you have your subject move between shots and you just end up having three or four or five of the same person in the shot. So yeah, it's a really fun way to just duplicate people into your photos and it's really quick and easy. We could get out of town. So tip number seven and the final tip of this video is to edit your pictures. Um, whether you download Lightroom, it's free to download to your phone, or you just edit the photos with the editing software that's already on your phone. Whichever way you like to do it, edit your photos makes a massive difference to the end product. You can actually make the photo look how you want the photo to look. Sometimes using the phones, it doesn't actually look how it looks. It makes it super saturated and things. So, so yeah, I like to use Lightroom to edit all of my photos. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, hit like, subscribe for more videos, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Look back someday